With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Now this question says that most acidic among the following is. So we have to tell the most acidic species among the following. So first of all, let us understand how does a, uh, a compound shows acidic properties. So let's say we have we have a uh, we have a compound as HX. So we know that uh, acidic properties are showed by H positive ion. So basically, if this compound breaks down to give us H positive and X minus, then this H positive over here is acidic in nature. So let me write this is acidic and this H positive will be only formed when this X minus is very stable. So basically we have to find that which uh, uh, of the following will form the most stable X minus that is this X minus we have to see that which of the following will form the most stable X minus. So we have to see that from which position we can remove the H positive so that we get the most positive most uh, stable negative sign. So if we come to the first option so over here we can see that we have many sites from where we can remove the hydrogen for example 1, 2, then we have 3, 4. So these are the sites and 5. Why these sites are not possible? These both. Uh, it is because these are not close to any uh, group or any ligand from where they can be stabilized or destabilized. So hence we generally don't remove from these sites. Though it is possible to remove but we don't uh, remove them. So if we consider these sites. So for example let's say I remove from uh, remove the H-positive from here and I get a negative over here. So I can clearly see that this negative will be destabilized by the plus m of the oxygens present over here. So these both oxygen will show plus m and donate the electron thereby destabilizing this uh, negative sign over here. So basically all these three oxygens will show. And if I remove from here this oxygen will show plus m. So I can see that at all the positions the negative sign will be stable. So that means this option is definitely uh, eliminated and it should not be the correct answer but we have to basically compare if if the other options are more or less stable then we will have to select the statement but for now we can clearly see that this negative sign is getting highly unstable over here and this should be incorrect coming to option b we can see that it is similar structure as compared to a uh, but the difference is that we have sulfur in uh, the position of oxygen so we know that oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur so let me write oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur. So therefore it has a it is a better uh, plus m donating group that means its plus m is more stronger. Therefore the negative charge which is appearing on sulfur will be more stable because oxygen plus m is more stable. Uh, sulfur also has zone pair it can donate through plus m as well but its plus m is less uh, powerful when compared to oxygen so therefore uh, b is better when compared to so let us write the order itself and uh, then it will be better for us to find the best one so i can say that a is less than b now coming to option c so over here we can see that it is a similar kind of structure just the difference is that we have uh, the uh, a carbon coming in between uh, when we compare it to option A. So over here if I remove the hydrogen from this particular carbon atom I can see that a negative sign will come over here and it will be not in uh, resonance basically in plus m effect with any of the oxygens. It will only be uh, showing minus i over here because oxygen is electronegative hence it will attract the negative charge through minus m. So all these oxygens will attract through minus m and therefore it will show electron withdrawing group so we just now discussed that o o oxygen is electronegative hence it will uh, attract through minus m and therefore it will stabilize the negative charge so this option can definitely be correct because it is in fact stabilizing the negative charge so this option can be correct uh, for now i'm not taking it we'll check the option d as well but yes the c is more stable than the c is more stable than both of these so the c is more stable than both of these now coming to d option we can clearly see that there is no group present so there is no chance of stabilizing or destabilizing so definitely in C option we are getting stabilized effect that means this D will be less stable than compared to C but it will be more stable than A and B because there is no destabilizing action as well so this will come in between all of these so this will be over here.
so we can clearly see that c is the clear winner it is the most stable structure hence it will be the correct answer so option c is correct so with this we complete the entire solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today